Uh, uh, where is our waitress? It's been like half an hour. Okay, everybody, close your menus. They won't come if the menus are open. Close them. Hi, welcome to Fisherman's Cove. Where the fish is fresh and the fries are free on Fridays. I'm Joni, and I'll be your server. Hi, Joni, I'm Chachi, and I'll be your dream catch of the day. Cute. What do you have? You're not ready yet. I'll come back. Oh. Helen! I, was, I forgot what kind of potatoes I wanted. Oh, look at, look at our Joni tidying up that salad bar. There's one little chickpea. I'd be proud to have him up late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how'd you like to scoot her under the broiler so she's nice and crispy? I know, my double entendres suck. Hey, look at this guy, how cute he is. Cute? I don't think he's cute. Then again, I don't get the Brad Pitt thing either. Wow, she's so big. Oh, gee, it, I, I can tell. I don't know how, but it's a girl. <laughs> yeah. 65 years old, this little lady is. 18 pounds caught off the coast of Maine. Hello. Yum. I'm going to get that one. <laughs> Audrey, you can't eat that lobster. You're darn right you can. She was born in 1931. Lived through World War II. Probably saw enemy subs patrolling. Couldn't alert us. Trying to figure out how to, you know, click, 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 click. Some kind of code or something. We couldn't understand it. You know, probably couldn't hear it anyway. The Andrew sisters, they were always on the radio. And they were just, don't sit under the apple tree. They had that, like, that harmony thing going. She avoided being eaten for 65 years. I think she's earned her freedom. No, Ellen, I meant you can't eat her because she's being raffled off next week. What? Hi, welcome to Fisherman's Cove. Yeah, the fish, the fish fresh. are fresh and all that, Joni. It's good to see you again. You know, you're not really going to raffle off this lobster to be eaten, are you? Uh-huh. Do you know how old it is? I mean, it was around when Kennedy was shot. I'm sure it had nothing to do with it, but... So you want to buy a ticket or what? Joni? How old are you? 25. 25, okay, think about this. That lobster was 40 years old when you were born. Huh, think about this. We're out of the Clams Casino. <laughs> you know I'm close. I'll keep my promises. I'll always be there when you talk to me. I'll always hear you. Yeah. I had me a great meal Friday night, and I am going back for dessert. Ooh. Yeah, that, that coconut pie looked mighty good. That's a double entendre, Joe. I got the waitress's phone number, and I'm taking her out this weekend. <laughs> All right, okay, yeah, dessert. Gotcha. Um, yeah, well, you, you might want a nice glass of milk with that pie. <laughs> I, I just don't get it, do I? Okay. Well, I had a weird dream last night. You want to hear it? Okay. I was... <laughs> trapped in this giant tank, okay? And there were rubber bands around my hands, and I look out, and these giant lobsters are staring at me. One looked like you, Joe. One looked like you, Audrey. And one of them looked like Chris Isaac, but like a lobster version, but still, you know, it's a pretty cute lobster. Anyway, they're smacking their lips or whatever, just looking at me, holding raffle tickets. Just... Ellen, you, you have to let this go, okay? People eat lobsters, that's what they do, all right? But you bought 50 raffle tickets, right? Yeah, but what if I don't win? That's exactly what I'm counting on. <laughs> those you don't understand i just can't turn my back when i see a lobster in need i feel like i should do something don't do it ellen i know exactly what you mean ellen sometimes you have to take a stand i protested when they stopped selling barbie with their own comb she still comes with her own comb thanks to me ellen <clears throat> look we all want to save stuff right the whales the rainforest the cleveland browns right but you know one person can't do squat oh that's good that's good you know if you ever run for office you should use that as your campaign slogan Listen, ellen, just forget about the lobster forget the lobster forget the lobster ellen <laughs> Hey, Joni. Spence, what are you doing here? We're not going out until Friday. Yeah, well, I, I couldn't wait until this weekend. Good, it'll save me a phone call. I don't want to go out with you. What do you mean? What, do you, what does that mean? You like to stay down there at the bottom, don't you? That's okay. You know, when I go to parties, I stay in the kitchen. That's a people equivalent of the bottom. Okay. Got a nice cooler of salt water for you. I think you're going to love it. You do love, don't you? Sure you do. <laughs> I just, I, I just broke up with this jerk, Richard, right. because he was afraid of commitment. Hey, but I'm not that guy, you know? I've gone out with tons of women, and they all call me Mr. Commitment. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Then I, I, I think we are so perfect for each other. I mean, all day, all day, I kept seeing your face in, in, in things, in the cereal, by cereal, um, the sunset. I saw your face in the sunset. Okay. I know it's a little cramped in there. We're gonna put you in the Pacific Ocean. You can frolic with your friends. Okay. I should cover it. I'm sorry, I can't 
save all of you. I have to save the world one lapse at a time. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really hard for me to trust again, but what the heck? Okay, let's go for coffee. Coffee? Well, I, I don't think I'm ready for that. That's, I mean, you know, I mean, because you've been hurt for all I know, I've been hurt, so I think we should take tonight and think about it, all right? So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you, okay? I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna. she came crawling back at us and then we put her out again and she'd crawl back at us and then I put her out even further and I said I don't love you anymore <laughs> she came crawling right back at me I, I don't know I just couldn't just leave her there with her little beady eyes looking up at me I know what you mean I say we eat it and put it out of its misery bye-bye <laughs> gotta go to work What do you think if later on tonight I drive up the coast further to Santa Barbara? You know, there are nice galleries. Maybe she'd like it there. Helen, as a former head fish girl at San Tony's Fish Market, I seem to recall that Maine lobsters can only survive in the Atlantic Ocean. Something to do with the temperature. Great. So now I have to take Scout to Maine. No, silly. You can chuck her anywhere between North Carolina and Nova Scotia. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold it. Back up a second. You named the lobster Scout? Yeah, after that little dog my mother wouldn't let me have. You know, for closure. Hey guys, listen to this. When I came in this morning, I found that some lowlife had stolen my lobster. We here at Fisherman's Cove uh, visit our new location at 2423 Beach Boulevard in Oxnard. We'll not rest until the lobster is returned. Well, there you have it, Cindy. Clearly, somebody is going to be eating well tonight. <laughs> oh, right you are, Brett. The only problem, finding a pot big enough to cook it in. <laughs> Back to you, Cindy. <laughs> Hello, is this the KJLA TV News? Ellen, what are you doing? I'm going to set the record straight. Yeah. You can't do that. What do you want them to come after you? Shh. Yes, I was just watching your news program and uh, the story on the lobster. Yeah, I, I just want to let you know that she is not going to be anybody's dinner. She's going to be set free. Well, because I'm the one who took her. That's why. And I resent <laughs> the implication. A hero? Well, I don't know if I consider myself a hero. <laughs> well, that is very flattering, but I don't think you need to know much. Ellen. <laughs> yeah. What? what? Uh, no, I don't. No, it's right. Really, Morgan. Oh. <laughs> well, the middle name is not necessary, certainly. I, Inez. Yeah. Ellen, I can't believe you just did that. I know. I hate my middle name. What's that? <laughs> well, you have a pretty voice, too. Yeah. She's in my tub, which is lucky. My last apartment, I only had a shower. Can you imagine? I had to have to keep the water running the whole time. <laughs> Okay, so I'll take one ticket from Los Angeles to Portland, Maine. Uh, window. Uh-huh. Oh, and I'll be uh, carrying my pet on my lap. Yes, lobster. I can't. Well, uh, what if, um, what if I'm blind and it's my seeing eye lobster? Well, I'm allergic to dogs and, uh, I tried a monkey, but all I wanted to do was play that little accordion all the time. And I had some cute little vests for it, a little clothes. Hello? Hello? Are you Ellen Inez Morgan? Uh, no. No, I'm Ellen Inet Morgan, which is very confusing. I get her mail and telephone calls for her all the time. Listen, Missy, I want my lobster, and I want it now. What lobster? Oh, save that what lobster crap for your, your bra-burning, tofu-eating hippie friends. <laughs> Hand me over my lobster, I'm calling the police. Are you Ellen Inez Morgan, the lobster lady? Yes, she is, and she is not giving that lobster back. She is taking a stand, because she'd rather rot in the big house than be a stoolie for the man. <laughs> I'm standing here with the real-life hero, Ellen Inez Morgan, who rescued a 65-year-old lobster and gave the old gal a new lease on life. Also here, Thomas Kelsey, the irate restaurant owner, who wanted to see the lobster dead. Irate? <laughs> Hardly irate. Make that word proud, mister. Proud to applaud Ms. Morgan's brave and daring gesture. And in that spirit, to donate the lobster to her so that she can return it to its rightful home, the sea. Remember, that's Fisherman's Cove, where the seniors drink free from 4 to 5 every third Wednesday of the month. Look how excited Scout is about meeting Mary Tyler Moore. How can you tell? Well, look at her little face. Where is her little face? It is her little face. Ellen, okay. They 
they want you to keep your speech short and then sit by the podium while Mary Tyler Moore speaks. And just a little tip from me, don't forget to smile. Because <laughs> you can turn the world on with your smile. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. I'm sure Mary never hears that. Please don't embarrass me and say that around her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Mo Tyler Moore, Mary Tyler Moore, Miss Moore, Miss Tyler, Miss Moore, Mayor, Mayor, remember Rhoda called you Mayor? Yeah. <laughs> of course, that was on the series, the show, you know, it was my character. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Although my character was a lot like I am, well, so yeah. anyway, you know, call me whatever you want. <laughs> so, okay, Helen, so I'll I, call you, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Go ahead. No, you go, no, you go please, first, please. please won't no, you? I want you to go first. You. Okay. Um, uh, these are my friends. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm job. Hi, it's great to meet you. <laughs> wow, well, Mayor E, it is, uh, I'm thrilled to have you here. Well, I'm thrilled to be here. Oh, not as thrilled as I am, uh, but still thrilled. <laughs> <sighs> so, this is the lobster. This is my lobster scout. Yeah, not my lobster. Well, no, of course yeah. not, because you're gonna... Yeah, me in the Atlantic. Right? <laughs> because yeah. of the... With the temperature, yeah. right, so, well, and... yeah, not before we no, go right. there, so, <laughs> we to probably just get... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's time, Ms. Moore. Oh, oh, well, then we should probably... <laughs> probably. After, after you. you. No, no, you go first. No, please, no. I insist. Uh, you go no, first. You go I want just go! <laughs> well, that's one filly I wouldn't mind trotting around the corral. Joe, it's never ten to four. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was good double entendre, right? Yeah, well, Scout's not laughing. She's not even moving. Not at all. She's not even budging. Uh-oh. This lobster does not look well. Take its pulse, Fence! I don't know what its pulse is. Oh, my God. What about the award ceremony? Uh. Lobster! Lobster! Are you okay? You have to give it mouth to mouth. I'm not putting my lips on a lobster. Hey, it's no bargain for the lobster, either. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Scout! Scout! Don't give up! Don't give up! Oh, oh. Audrey, oh. Audrey, stop. Stop. I'm going to have to call it. Time of death, 2.14 p.m. Guys, uh, just out of curiosity, how long after a lobster dies can you still eat it? Hi, I'm Kevin Brown, president of Animals First. I'm proud to share the stage with two great humanitarians. One you know quite well, and the other, you'll get to know right now. So without further ado, may I introduce to you, Ellen Morgan, the Lobster Lady. <laughs> I went into Fisherman's Cove <laughs> with the idea of filling my stomach, but instead I filled my heart. <laughs> I fell in love with a 65-year-old lobster. <laughs> Who says May, December romances don't work? <laughs> Some of you call me a hero. I say just call me Ellen Morgan, fellow human being who lives on this planet and realizes that all creatures, great and small, are a part of me. But don't call me that every time you see me. <laughs> Scout was meant to live a long and healthy life, and I was somehow chosen by, you know, whoever does the choosing, to save her. And I'm glad I was... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ellen. And now to present the award, a woman who is a friend to all, animals included, Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Why save a lobster? Lobsters aren't cute. You can't cuddle up with them on the couch to watch TV. They don't like it. <laughs> but let me tell you something about lobsters you may not know. Lobsters, like humans, can feel pain. Now, I'm not saying we should all rush out and free every lobster in captivity. You know, I'm not even saying that we shouldn't eat, you know, <laughs> lobsters. <laughs> I'm just saying that the way we cook them is inhumane. To plunge a, a live lobster into a pot of boiling water is unnecessarily cruel. So I urge all of us, scientists, gourmets, gourmands, everyone, to search for a more sensitive method. <laughs> now, Scout here is symbolic of all creatures who 
like humans, have a beating heart, who have an active brain. <laughs> Ellen Morgan. Because of your brave and selfless act of kindness, this lobster will live a long, long, full life. She'll go on and on, perhaps even to give birth to new life. Although, well, she is 65, so probably not. I don't know. But anyway, I just want to say how proud I am to present this award to you. <laughs> and to say thank you on behalf of all the creatures who came. Who came. Especially Scout. <laughs> he did a beautiful thing. Ellen, uh, let me interrupt for a moment. We here at Fisherman Cove Restaurants, 22 locations nationwide, would like to present you and Scout with this first-class ticket to Portland, Maine. Well, that's very generous. Where, after you release her into the Atlantic Ocean, you'll be staying, courtesy of us, Fisherman's Cove, at the Ritz-Carlton, all expenses paid. Well, that, that's nice of you, but I think that I should... Tell and on your final night, Carly Simon and James Taylor will sing together one last time. Get out! Yes! It's a special benefit performance in honor of you, Ellen Morgan. Ooh. Now, what do you say to that? I say that, uh... Scout, we're going to Maine! <laughs> I can't do this. I can't use a dead crustacean for my own gain. Ellen, this is not your fault. I checked her out, and I promise you she died of natural causes. By the way, during the exam, one of her claws fell off, but I fixed it. I can't do it. I just don't feel right. Mary, hi. Hi. I just came to send off our little traveler. <laughs> How's she doing? <laughs> I, I really think I should tell you something about Scout. Uh, was one of her claws held on with tape? <laughs> I really think that I need to tell you something. Uh, about no, Ellen, I don't think you do. I think you should just uh, get on the plane. <laughs> no, I, I do think I should tell you because... No, you shouldn't. Believe me, I know. Get on the plane. <laughs> Are you saying you know that Scout... <laughs> Ellen, do you remember the other day in my little speech I said that uh, Scout was symbolic of all creatures? Well, here's the thing. Sometimes you can lose the individual case, you know, but still the greater cause can be served. Right, yeah, I know, but I just want to make sure that you know, know what I think that you know, because... The, the scout... What I know is that your original intention was to take Scout to Maine and set her free into the ocean. All right. Well, you can still do that, can't you? Yeah, yeah, I guess I can. I can the plate. Okay. Okay, thank you again. It was just a oh, real meeting you again. Well, it I was just want to for me say to... that... Okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure. Okay, here's the thing. If you don't get on the plane, I'm going to get mad. And I'm not really good at getting mad. You don't want to see me get mad, do you? No, I don't. Then get on the plane. <laughs> I just have to double Go! <laughs> okay, I know. I lied to you. I used you. I got you in trouble, and there's no excuse for it. Right? Except this one. I've never felt feelings like this for anyone in my life, and it frightens me, okay? I mean, I, I, I don't want to wake up 50 years from now wondering what if, all right? So I, I guess what I'm saying is, is that I, I'm not going to run. I'm going to be here for you for as long as it takes, okay? I mean... Yeah!